That night, the Mega Pride returns unsuccessful and hungry. A lion can go a week without food, but this is day five, and Whitehead knows they're getting desperate. The pride doesn't rest. Every lion is alert for prey. Even TB searches tonight. Suddenly, an opportunity. This three tons of meat would leave no one hungry. Whitehead investigates the potential meal with one of the young males. If they're to bring down a hippo, they'll need the entire mega pride. It's a dangerous undertaking. A hippopotamus can pierce straight through a lion. In a clash between size and numbers, both predator and prey consider their options. Whitehead makes her decision. The hippo tries to flee, but Whitehead has the support of the pride. To feed, the lions must knock the hippo off balance and pull it sideways. But the young male doesn't have the strength. Whitehead tries, but the rest of the family hangs back. Desperate, they tear at the hippo's spine and rear. This time, it's a warning. It's safer behind their quarry. Whitehead easily pierces the hippo's six centimeter hide for a quick drink. Without help from a mature male, a bloodletting may be all they'll get. In some areas, lions obtain all their moisture from the blood and body fluids of their prey. But the hippo's not staying around for that. TB grabs her turn but the rest of the pride is unwilling to keep up the attack. The females press forward, but the adolescents are listless and uncoordinated, unsure what to do next. The hippo takes advantage of the standoff. Duclaw didn't see it coming. 900 kilograms of pressure clamp down on her skull. Pride still distracted from the vicious attack, the hippo flees. This time, it heads straight for the water. It's a disaster. The pride will go hungry again. They haven't learned to work together as a single unit. And now Whitehead's lost a valuable hunter.
Dewclaw is badly injured. It's doubtful she'll make it through the night. Today, the lions are awake at first light. A young male tries to offer Duclaw support, but even a lick is too painful. Duclaw suffers from a brain hemorrhage and a damaged right eye. But she also has a puncture wound under her neck where the hippo's incisor pierced straight through into her mouth. Only rest will bring solace. 